not over yet, though. I think it's time for some brain food. You want some? Yeah, I hadn't realised I was so hungry. The old monster's not doing very well, is it? What are we going to do about this, Rick? It's well watered. There isn't any sun on it. There are no little insects eating it, and still it's doubtful whether it wants to live or not. Infinity Limited. Oh, yeah, Greg. No vapes. Where are you ringing from? Oh, you couldn't have picked a better day. We're just sitting around. Yeah, sure, we'll be here. Yeah, if we get a job, you can come along with us. Chris says hello. OK, bye. Hey, what'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, no, Plankton, no! Oh, we're gonna die of malnutrition, not again. Do you like fish and chips, Vaughan? Yes, but not for two weeks solid, Plankton. Mm. There's plenty of protein in that fish for you. Yes, and not to mention half a kilo of grease. <laughs> oh, will you look at that salt? Plankton, are you trying to tell me that this represents a balanced diet? Huh? All the minerals, all the vitamins my brilliant mind needs, hey? Oh, go on, get up the duck, find me some work. Hey, you're not going to take those. I'll smell them a mile off. Oh, go on. So, how are things? Yeah, what brings you to the big smoke? I just needed to get away from the mine and the guys there. The last few weeks have been a bit depressing. Everyone's down, even me. Some of us are actually sick. What sort of sick? Oh, little things mainly. Well, cuts not healing, bruises taking ages to go away. Oh, cold staying around for weeks. This is still the same place? Yeah, Mount Alexander Mines. It sounds like you're having a great time. <laughs> what do you think's causing the problem? Who knows? Well, these things do go around. You don't think it's got something to do with the area, like something to do with the mining? How'd you like a couple of visitors up there? When? Soon as you like. Well, I've got to pick up some supplies. Uh, yeah, OK, I can meet you up there. Great. Uh, miners suffering from some mysterious disease. Mount Alexander Mine. Mount Alexander! I've heard of that somewhere. Now, where is that? There. Oh, Phoebe! Ah, yes. Not far from where my solar-powered canoe met its group. Contracts, I'll be leaving well, any minute. All oh, right, right, I'll grab the... Uh, the oh, you've got the kit. Uh, keys, keys. Quick, Plank, and there's a lot of space. Stay. I'll think of it. <laughs> it's an old one, but it works. <laughs> oh, I must say you're quick getting, yeah, Greg? Just rang. Infinity Limited. No, uh, no, 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 sir. Um, young amateurs, my colleague and I represent Vortex Ventures. Well, who are Rick and Chris then? Now, how many of you have been laid low by this iniquitous organism? How many are sick? Oh, well, I don't know. Well, that many of us are that sick. It's just that most of us don't seem to be 100% at the moment. We had a doctor, one of the blokes, a week or so ago, put him on antibiotics. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps. But first, describe the manifestations of this virus. What? What's wrong with you? Oh, I see. Different little things, bruises and cuts not the here. Cuts and abrasions. Now, come on, what's really wrong? What's different, significant? Well, there's one fella. Uh -huh. Oh, and another one today. Uh -huh. G'day, Wally. Ooh. A bit shaky on their feet. Now, now, now. And their gums have started bleeding whenever they clean their teeth. Oh, see? What was that again? Read that back, Plank. A sore mouths, yeah. unsteady on their feet. Oh, well, that's it, then. Foot and mouth disease. <laughs> but I thought only animals... Could I know you're that. amazed at my lightning quick solution of your problem, but that's why I'm worth the huge bill I'll be sending you. Now, first things first, uh, do you have any, um... meat? 
Oh, yeah, quite a bit in the kitchen, actually. A lot of us have been off our food lately. No, not to worry, not to worry. Plankton to the kitchen. We need a sample of the meat and some Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> and now, sir, while my assistant and I prepare a remedy, I suggest that you and your men prepare a sheep dip. There's nothing that a good dunking in carbolic won't get rid of. Sheep dip? No, if it works for sheep, it'll work for any creature known to ma... Ha-ha! <laughs> my assistant returns. Come, Plankton, come. Don't worry about a thing, sir. Deliverance? Is at hand. <laughs> Hello. Infinity Limited. Sorry we're late, but did you know you got a roadside pointing the wrong way down there? Infinity Limited, you said. Yeah. You were expecting us. I was, but Mr. Vortex said you're off the case. Vortex. Vortex Ventures. I knew I recognised that car. Strange sort of a chap. Says we've all got foot and mouth disease. Wants to run us through a sheep dip. <laughs> I'm sure he was joking. Anyway, if he's got things in hand. No, no, young fella. Now that you're here. I suppose Greg fills in. Yes. Pretty well everyone's affected. Oh, just about the only real bright spark at the moment is the cook. Can we have a look around? Sure. A lovely chop. Vortex. Oh, Plankton, we've had 12 already. <laughs> oh, one more. <laughs> 13 is my lucky number. <laughs> All this meat vortex enough to last for weeks. No, uh, we're going to buy more with the money we get from solving this case. However, we must not forget our benefactors. Those poor, unfortunate men. <laughs> Plankton. Look up foot and mouth disease. Oh, how's it going? Oh, hi, Greg. Well, the only person we haven't met yet is the cook. Oh, I'll see if I can find him for you. Seems strange that the cook was the only one not affected. You're not serious. It's a long shot, but anything's possible. Anything is possible in my kitchen. I am a master chef. We were just looking. Yes, I know. Greg told me the sickness. And I am healthy. And do you know why? Because I take good care of myself. Not like those other yahoos. They would not know a good meal if it fell in their lap. You sound very upset. Don't you get on with the rest of the men? With those barbarians, I am a master chef. I can make a meal talk. Eat me, enjoy me, it will say. I can do things with onions that would bring tears to your eyes. But do they care? No. Breakfast, steak and eggs. Lunch, chops and eggs. Dinner, steak and eggs. Do you know how that hurts an artiste like me? I'm sure they don't mean to be cruel. Oh, yes, they do. Why else do they take my beautiful fruit salad and throw it out the window? I hope they stay sick and get sicker. Ooh, quite a temper, don't you think? Yes, surely. He uh, wouldn't. Let's just get the gear and get some feed samples, eh? Foot and mouth disease is a highly contagious disease of animals, also called hoof and mouth disease, as it attacks animals like cattle, sheep, pigs, and other animals with cloven hooves. Cloven hooves? Well, that's incredible. What? You're trying to tell me that the men at the mining camp don't have feet, they've got hooves. <laughs> or it could mean that they don't have foot and mouth disease. But the symptoms. Well, perhaps they've got 24 hour flu. No, they've been ill for weeks. Hey, what other diseases are in that book, eh? Uh, measles. Symptoms? Irritating rash, fever. No, no, it's not that. Chicken pox, spots and things. No, no spots. Next. Bubonic plague, known as the Black Death. The Black Death? Well, do you get spots with that? No. And those mining men didn't have spots either. Could they have the... Oh, look, 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 look just leave the flashes of inspiration to me, will you, Plankton? There's a good chat. Now, I am telling you that it is obviously foot and mouth disease. But I've never heard of any humans having foot and mouth disease. Ah, Vortex. it's no time to be negative, Plankton. Yeah. Oh, tonight's dinner. Smells pretty good. One sterilised jar. Ah, there's some leftovers in here. Now, what else comes in contact with food around here? That food slicer. So how do I get this into a jar? Try swabbing it. 
Hey, what if the food's been contaminated accidentally? Any leads? Oh, well... We think it might be deliberate poisoning, but as I was just saying to Crystal, we shouldn't be jumping to conclusions. Right. Good thinking, Rick. Anyway, we're going to take some samples of the food and water for analysis. If there's anything there that shouldn't be, the pathology lab should be able to tell us. Mm, we'll check the cook, too. He could be carrying a disease without knowing it and infecting the food every time he prepares it. Well, how long's all this going to take? Oh, probably a few days. We could be barking up the wrong tree, but we have to eliminate all possibilities. Well, what about the men? Uh, if the food is causing the sickness, what do we eat? Oh, good point. Can't let the cook near the food. Yeah, well, none of us can cook. What have you got that's canned? Oh, fruit and veggies, not much, I suspect. Well, it looks like you're going to be going vegetarian for the time being. It's easier said than done, mate. The blokes here love their meat. I've never seen them meet anything else. Oh, just do your best, mate. We'll get these samples to the lab first thing in the morning. All right. Now, I understand that we have to test for specific things, but what? I mean, it could be germs or chemicals. Well, what about if we start with a test for lead contamination, since the miners are in contact with that, and some of the symptoms are similar to that of lead poisoning? Yes, well, we use the atomic absorption spectrophotometer. Well, how does that work? Well, simply what it is, is... They dissolve the sample in an acid, which is then burned in a flame, and a beam of light after passing through the flame shows how much lead is present. And the amount is indicated on this readout. For the biological tests, you should speak to George, who's over there. Oh, OK, thanks, Pat. G'day, George. G'day, Rick. Got that food sample for you. Thank you. Firstly, George rinsed the cheese in a nutrient solution. Then, using a loop of thin sterilised wire, he took a small portion and applied it to the growth medium. And the dishes will then be put in an incubator and checked the next day for growth and the presence of food poisoning bacteria. Well, all we can do now is sit and wait. I just hope those men do as we told them. That's if it is the food. Hello? Oh, hi. Yeah, Rick's just dropped the samples off. What? Those two men are back. Vortex ventures. You're doing what? This Vortex bloke's got some of the men convinced about his crazy ideas. He's trying to get the manager into the sheep dip. Morning, partner. What you got there? Ooh, Crystal. Huh? Oh, sorry, Rick. The lab results, I just picked them up. Great, what do they say? Well, that's just it, they're clear. No chemical, no bacterial contamination. So we look further. Any ideas? Well, maybe it's got something to do with the strenuous work they do. The exertion. Mm. Ah, but then there's... The manager. Huh? Yeah, he'd have been okay. What about dust or escaping gas from the mine shaft? I mean, they all go down there, even the manager on occasions. Everyone except the cook. Hmm. Needs a closer look, I think. I'll ring and let them know we're coming. Oh, hi, Greg. It's Crystal. How are you feeling? Yeah? Oh. Yeah, well, we're leaving right now. See you shortly. Bye. Greg said he's feeling better, and so are some of the men, but the rest are worse than ever. It is strange. Oh, God, I'm stupid. What? I forgot to ask him if the men were eating fruit and vegetables. Yeah, but what's that got to do with it? I wonder. We've been thinking it was something in the food that was causing the illness. What if the miners' problem is something that's not in the food? Like what? What was that disease explorers used to get when they couldn't get fresh fruit and vegetables? Ha! Ah, here it is, scurvy. 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 Scurvy due to lack of vitamin C. The only sources of vitamin C are vegetables and fresh fruit, especially citrus fruits like oranges and lemons. Scurvy was the curse of the high seas in the days of the old sailing ships. It took so long to get from place to place that the ships were always running out of fresh fruit and vegetables. Hundreds died from scurvy. 
Captain Cook was one of the first to find a cure for it. His favourite dish was sauerkraut, pickled cabbage. Now, lads, I've heard there's rumbles below deck. Oh, now, come on, me lads, we've had a good voyage. We've charted the east coast of Australia, and you all had an extra ration of sauerkraut. That's the problem, Captain, sauerkraut. That's all we ever seem to get. Do you know what was on the menu this morning? Dried meat and sauerkraut. Hard biscuits and sauerkraut. I'll not have the scurvy aboard my ship. Now that I've let the cat out of the bag, the next man to refuse his sauerkraut will have the skin flogged off his back. So wake up to yourselves, me lads. Uh, wake up, Plankton. What's the matter with you? What's the... Davy! Huh? The miners have got scurvy vortex, all the symptoms fit. Ah, oh, that's ridiculous, Plankton. No, vortex. Ah, your press release. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> New disease isolated, human foot and mouth, also known as virulent vortex virus. Well, no point in being modest, hey? <laughs> now, when I accept my Nobel Prize, I wonder if I should mention the influence... Well, do my... we have any evidence? Ah, oh, details, Plankton, minor details. Now. My next challenge shall be to find the cure. Oh, and the menu. Got grapefruit juice, French salad, blackberry trifle. Well, there's plenty of vitamin C offering on the menu. Yeah, but see, when the old chef left a couple of months ago and uh, all these fancy dishes started turning up, we just jacked up. Oh, I see, and just refused to eat anything but steak and sausages. <sighs> yeah. So you reckon I'm feeling better because of all the fruit and vegetables I've been eating over the last couple of days? I think so. But Crystal should have some better evidence for us. Mm. Well? Right on the button. The men that took our advice and started eating fruit and veggies are much better. The others haven't improved at all. But if our theory's right, they'll be feeling OK. I've given them some vitamin C tablets, and I think they'll be more interested in the chef's menu from now on. Hey, I wonder if our plant's suffering from the same thing. Well, scurvy. <laughs> Close. I was thinking of lack of minerals. We'll have to check its diet. Bring it up here. It can eat with the men. <laughs> <laughs> no. Look, Vortex, look. What is it, Plankton? I crushed some meat, I put it in this beaker and added some of that blue liquid to it. It's called dichlorophenol endophenol. Yeah. Well, and what's happened? Nothing. <laughs> That's right. And do you know why, Vortex? No, Plankton. Because the meat has no vitamin C in it. Really? Yes, Vortex. Now look. Sauerkraut, on the other hand, is rich in vitamin C. And that's what takes the colour out. It's fascinating, Plankton, but please take it away. I'm, I'm not feeling too well. I had to... Postpone my press conference. Yes, Vortex, but that's why you've been eating nothing but chops for over a month now. So no vitamin C. No, not that scurvy nonsense again, Plankton, please. Please. I thought my test would convince you. Vortex. Uh. Try some of this sauerkraut. It's delicious. At some other time, Plankton, I really rather not take any right at the moment. Please. Okay. You wanna know now. You wanna know why. You wanna know how. And you wanna know why.